Thank you for tuning in here at Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff. We are the Toughbook experts and leading refurbishers for Panasonic Toughbooks. Today we're going to be explaining all the ports and expansion available in the Toughbook CF53. The Toughbook CF53 has all the ports and expansion you could need. This laptop is military standard 810G certified and has great connectivity. The Toughbook 53 has four USB ports. Imagine the convenience of having four USB ports on a semi-rugged computer. Toughbook 53s also have X, SD, XC ports for SD cards. So let's say for example you're taking photos on the go and you need to transfer them onto your computer. Just insert the SD card into your port and your Toughbook will be able to recognize the SD card. The Toughbook 53 also has a DVD multi-drive. Not only will this DVD multi-drive allow you to watch your DVDs, but you can also read and write the following formats. DVD minus R, DVD minus recordable, DVD minus rewritable, DVD plus recordable, DVD minus rewritable, CD minus recordable, and CD minus rewritable, and DVD RAM. The Toughbook CF53 also has an Ethernet port for obviously connecting to the internet. The Panasonic Toughbook CF53 is a great investment for so many reasons. The Toughbook CF53 has an HDMI port included as well. The port allows you to transfer HD video and audio simultaneously to an external monitor. The Toughbook CF53 also has VGA or video graphics array, which allows you to view your laptop graphics on a larger monitor or a computer monitor. Talk about options, whereas this device also has a serial port. The serial port being a very basic external connection, being around for more than 20 years, it's very nice of Panasonic to include one. Moving on, the Toughbook CF53 also has a PC card slot and a Express card slot. The Express card can significantly increase your bandwidth. This is a great option for any laptop. The Toughbook CF53 also has a head jack for audio listening and a microphone jack for audio recording. The Toughbook 53 also has a dock connector which allows you to connect your mobile electronic device simultaneously to several external resources. That concludes our demonstration for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button as well as subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Thanks for tuning in once again here at Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff. Thanks for watching today. For more repair videos, click the link below. And remember, if you have a screwdriver, you can fix a computer. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.